Hello, hey, this is Brian Askins with Secure Insurance Group. I hope everyone's having a tremendous day today. And uh, just want to take a couple of minutes of your time today and discuss cross-selling. And I'm going to give you a really quick, short idea uh, that I think will make a huge impact on your on your business and uh, your uh, your income. Uh, this is a form that I created a couple of years back, and it's been one of the best things I've ever done. Uh, and uh, I'm going to ask a quick question, and this will hopefully get your interest in order to to hear the rest of this call. Has everyone, anyone here ever sold insurance, an insurance plan to a client, and you went back a year or two later or saw that person and you know whatever you know at the mall or whatever and and uh, and somehow insurance came up and they mentioned or you found out that they had purchased another policy from an, from another agent uh, in between that time period uh, from the last time you had seen them and then you and you and they could see the shock in your face and they and they simply tell you that they didn't realize that you sold you know life insurance or you sold annuities or you sold whatever product it was that they bought they thought you only did Medicare they thought you only did health insurance or they thought you only did you know whatever the product may be. And uh, so one of the things that we have to make sure that we do uh, as insurance agents, let the people know the product and services that we offer. It is so, so, so important. And so I've created a little form, and this is, again, the simplest thing. And if anybody on this wants the form, uh, uh, just simply uh, let us know, uh, and we will be glad to send the form to you. If you want us to personalize it for you, we'll be glad to do that for you. Uh, put it, put your own, you know, your logo on it instead of Secure's logo. If you want that, we'll be glad to do that for you. Uh, so just to kind of walk through the form and tell you how kind of I use the form uh, and kind of the, the cross-selling opportunities that you have. First of all, one thing I want to make sure that we emphasize here is that, you know, we may go into an appointment for a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage plan, some type of Medicare, a Medicare review. And if that's all we talk about and we leave the house and they don't know the other parking and services we offer, you know, we can kid ourselves all day long. They're buying that those other coverages through another agent. Uh, and we're losing out on that. That's lost opportunity for us. So they're buying other parking and services from other carriers. If we don't think that they are, we're really, really, really by, being by, uh, uh, naive. And so what I want to really emphasize here is the opportunity that you have when you're in front of a client, the hardest thing to do is to get in front of clients. So we're in front of the client. We need to capture every opportunity that we have, because that's the hardest thing about this business is getting in front of qualified prospects. Uh, and so again, when we have that opportunity, we want to capture every, uh, we want to capture the opportunity to take advantage of that opportunity uh, and to help those individuals and also produce more business for us. So here's what I do. When, so if let's just say that you have an office and you have a receptionist. And so when a person comes into the door, have your receptionist hand in this form and say, complete this form and, you know, Brian will be with you, uh, be with you in just a couple of minutes. So give the client time to complete this form because clients going to complete their name, their address, you know, the phone number, email, and, uh, and then they're going to mark what boxes they want to talk about. So maybe they're just there for Medicare, but you'll be surprised that you come back and they've all, you know, they've marked, you know, life insurance or long-term care or, or annuities or whatever other, you know, dental vision hearing, you know, et cetera. So they're going to market other products. And so that's one way to do it. Because just think about this. Every time you go to the doctor's office, you go to the dentist's office, the first thing they do is hand you a form to fill out while you're waiting to, get, to go see the doctor, while you're waiting for them to call you to go see the doctor, go see the dentist, or, or whatever it may be. You know, if you go get a massage, you got to fill out a form. Regardless of what you do, you know, any, any professional office you go to, you have to fill out a form before you see the professional. And uh, so... I went to, uh, to, we started doing this in office, and it's made an, a massive, massive impact on, our, on the amount of business that we write. So let's just say you don't have a receptionist, and let's just say you're doing a field appointment. Okay, I'm going to talk about different ways here. Say you're doing a field appointment, you're in front of the client. And so there's a couple of different ways you can do it. While you're getting your stuff out, you can turn around and say, hey, Mr. Ms. Prospect, if you would take just a minute or two and fill this form out here, uh, complete this form for me. And, uh, and so while you're getting your computer out, getting all of your, you know, uh, brochures, proposals, whatever you may, the reason you may have came, you know, for that particular meeting, getting all that prepared, uh, let them fill this form out. Let's just say that that doesn't happen. At the end of the form, you still have another opportunity. And so that's where you can say, you know, hey, Ms. Jones, today I know we took care of your, your Medicare, but uh, I do a lot more than just Medicare. And I just wanted to share with you the other practice services offer. And that's where you take the form out and you turn it around 
and you say life insurance, Mrs. Jones, do you currently have any life insurance? And let her talk. And to where the one of the most important things we can do as salespeople is let people talk. Don't interrupt them at all. Never interrupt them whatsoever. Let them talk. Uh, and always pay attention to what they're saying. Don't uh, be thinking of what your next comment is and you're not even really listening to them. Listen to your clients. If you'll listen to your clients, you're going to uncover an, an enormous amount of opportunities. So that's very key to listen to your client. So let's just say that you turn the, you turn the sheet around and you say, Mrs. Jones, do you have any life insurance? And just stop talking. Let her respond. Yes, I have life insurance or no, I don't. Or, or what are the cases? She's going to tell you. Mrs. Jones, uh, also another thing I do is annuities. I don't, you know, I know that you just recently retired from, you know, uh, American Airlines or whatever it may be. And uh, I didn't know if you had a 401k and you were trying to need help with any retirement planning, you know, because what I focus on is safe money accounts where you have upside potential without downside risk is what I focus on. And that's where you can just, and again, stop talking and let them answer. And just kind of walk down the whole list of the products anything that you might feel pertinent to them. And so just simply ask them, you know, do you have these? And so like on the annuities, I'm going to go back to that just for a second because this is very important. You know, I so said, do you have a 401k? Do you have any CDs? Uh, do you have any money market accounts, IRAs? And I'll kind of name four or five different types of products that they may have. Do you have money in the market? You know, whatever it may be. And just to see what the response is. And uh, the, the individuals, they're going to answer your question. So it's very, very, very important to just, Simply point at the product and ask the question and then and let them uh, uh, continue, you know, let them answer the question before we continue to talk. And so, uh, and so let, let's just say on life insurance, they said, yeah, you know, yes, I have this. As they're, as they're making, you know, telling me what they have, I'm just simply making notes because I don't want to stop with this life insurance. I want to complete this form. So then I'm going to go to the annuity to pay. Whatever their answer is, I'm going to make quick, quick little notes on that. And I'm going to go all the way down this form and, uh, now, obviously, some of you are on this, it's about I don't sell property casually. Well, take that off your, you can take that off, or I'm going to tell you a better idea is to go partner with a property casual agent, someone you can refer business to, and then, you know, someone who focuses on property casualties where they can refer you, you know, the life, health, annuities, you know, things of that nature, Medicare. They can refer you to other products and you refer them property casually. So uh, I, I don't think I would ever take it off. I just think I'd partner with another professional that offers those products and that way you can refer them business and they refer you. You want as many referral partners, uh, relationships as you possibly can out there because that's more business being driven to you. Now, so I'm walking through this form and uh, and then after I walk through this form, let's just say that they wanted life insurance. Well, it depends on what type of life insurance that they want and so forth. And, you know, and I'm, I'm going to, uh, I can run the quotes then or I can set a second appointment. Like if they mention annuities, I'm probably going to set a second appointment because I need to run some proposals and illustrations and, and bring them back to them. And so it gives you an opportunity to go back in there again. And let's just say, well, you know, some of you may on the, on the call maybe say, hey, Brian, I have, uh, you know, gosh, I wish I'd have had this form for the last, you know, 500 clients I've sold. Well, as you do annual reviews, use this form for annual reviews. Use this form for every new client going forward and then every time for an annual reviews for your existing clients. Annual reviews is something that could be a game changer a game changer for you too. And your views is gives you more of an opportunity to build more of a, a, a bond and a relationship with your client. You're talking about referrals. The more and more annual views you do, those referrals will continue to just increase drastically. And I mean, they will start multiplying in a very, very, very short period of time. A referrals will. And also, uh, uh, as, as you just build that relationship with those individuals, you're going to get more sales from that person than you were getting than, than you've already got in the house. Uh, so for example, like, you know, this year you may have sold a Medicare plan, next year you may sell a final expense plan or dental vision hearing, whatever it may be. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you about a live example I had this morning. And this is a true, true, true story. I met this morning, met a lady this morning at 7.30 a.m. She's coming off of group insurance. She's 68 years of age. And she's had a group insurance the entire time. She's had Medicare A and B since, uh, for, you know, for the last three years, since 2018. And uh, so this morning I met with her and she wanted a Medicare supplement plan. And so I wrote her a Medicare supplement and I wrote her a prescription drug plan. So then I turned the form around and I'd ask her, I said, and I kind of walked through this sheet. Well, long story short, I ended up writing her a, a dental plan. I wrote her a vision plan. 
I wrote her a cancer plan because she has a lot of cancer in her family. And I also uh, uh, obviously wrote her a prescription drug plan. And so as you're writing, into, you know, as you write these individuals, there's going to be more opportunities. So in what could have, what normally is just a two cell opportunity for the, with, with the medic or supplement and the prescription drug plan, it turned it into five cells. So it's huge, huge, huge. And uh, so that is a great opportunity for you to, uh, to cross sell and add extra business into that home. We've all heard Lemmer stats to where, uh, you know, it's our, our percentage of opportunity to keep that business in the house is greater the more plans we have in the house. And this is what this is all about is keeping the, you know, keeping our business in the house and, and uh, being that true professional and helping them. Now, just a couple of ideas here real quick. When you sell a Medicare supplement, obviously it doesn't come with dental vision, routine dental vision or hearing. So that's an opportunity, sales opportunity there. Obviously the life insurance sells opportunity with everything. Obviously, the annuities could be an opportunity with, with every product that you sell. Uh, if you sell a, a Medicare Advantage plan, the hospital indemnity plans are tremendous opportunities for you to sell. And that's, those should be added to about every single Medicare Advantage plan, uh, and, or at least presented in every situation. Sometimes the dental division hearing benefits aren't enough on the Medicare Advantage plan. So those, you know, some people want extra coverage. They don't want just a thousand dollars dental because they've got to have dentures. They got an implants or whatever it may be, root canals, crowns, et cetera. And so they want an extra dental policy. So kind of have these conversations with individuals and you will see the opportunity that, that you have and how easy this truly, truly is. I'm an individual to where uh, I like simplicity. Uh, I don't, I'm not pushy whatsoever. And so, and, and any, I, I like, I like what, what they call soft touches, you know, uh, a soft presentation and, and, and with, when a client knows that you're not pushing them, the client knows that you truly care. Uh, you're just, and, and you're, and you're an educator. You're educating them. And you know, I don't consider myself a salesperson whatsoever. I consider myself an educator. I want to educate them on the, on the, uh, uh, their options, their plans, or benefits. You know, options that they have, and let them make the choice whether uh, it's something that they want to, to enroll in or not. Because uh, when, when you do that, when the business goes on the books, the chance of it sticking are, are tremendously great. So the only thing, I'm, I just want to take a few minutes and discuss this form with you. It's a really simple form. If you want it for your clients, you simply call us uh, and we'll send you, make, we'll, we'll even personalize it for you, take off whatever carries you want, or you can, we'll send it to you, you can personalize it yourself, whatever you prefer. You may reword it and, and make it better than what ours is. Uh, and uh, so, but again, you want to take your, you know, if you're, if you're making 50 or 60,000 a year, you want to make that $100,000 a year, just simply cross sell. If you're making 150 and you want to make it 225, just simply cross sell. And that's all it is, is just cross selling. I, I, I want to thank you for your time today. I appreciate the opportunity to present this to you. If you have any questions or we can help you in any way, the phone number is on the screen. The, uh, uh, my uh, email address is on the screen. Feel free to call and talk to us. We'll be glad to help you with anything. If there's any, one last thing real quick, if there's any contracts you have with any other carrier or any other uplines, and if you would give us the opportunity to quote you commission levels, I'm very confident we'll be able to beat any commission level that you have with another, with another carrier. We'd love that opportunity to have that conversation with you. We'd love to partner with you more and more. But if we could be of any service whatsoever, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much. Again, this is Brian Askins with Secure Insurance Group, and hope you have a tremendous day.